Hi, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Guitar Stuff, and today's video is a World Rock Bass. This one's been in for a bit of TLC. So, it's been in for uh, a new note, intonation, action, and a general service, to be honest. Um, work I've done to it, as I said, new note. Trust rod didn't need to be adjusted. Action is perfectly fine. It's actually smacked as low as it can go. And intonation just need to be tweaked ever so slightly. And yeah, I'll show you what this sounds like. So, um, originally these would have had a plastic adjustable nut. Um, the owner of this bass lost it. And um, I told him I can come with new but bone nut, which I have done. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite proud how this nut turned out. So, yeah. Um, cut that, and then <clears throat> other things that have happened, um, I've done a full fret polish on it, and um, action, intonation, all that kind of stuff as well, and yeah, I'll just show you how it sounds, so, yeah, um, real quick, um, neck on this is maple rosewood fingerboards, so this is pre sighties bass anyway, and um, it's a lovely piece of rosewood, I'm so jealous of people. <laughs> All of rosewood um, fingerboards. Um, I'm doing the Les Paul build in the background of some stuff. You might notice a box of shadows at the end of the desk there. Um, and it has power ferro, which is a shame. But I'm working on that. Anyway, as I said, I'll talk about specs. Uh, maple, rosewood, um, bone nut, so it's not the original plastic nut, so that's an upgrade, basically. Uh, normal 2 and 2 style tuners. Um, it's the angled Warwick style as well. Um, the body looks to be of an ash kind of timber by looking at the wood grain alone. Could be alder, but I am probably lean more to the ash. I'm probably wrong for all I know. Um, so, yeah. Um, you got your push-pull pot for coil split, I believe. And then you got your tone as well. You got your high mass bridge by Warwick. And, yeah. Normal Warwick style control cavity plate, which is my favorite thing about Warwick's. They're so easy to get into. You don't have to unwire or anything. And I can actually tell by looking at this. Yeah, that's a coil split. Cool. So, and they also use this Strat style um, jackly. So, I'm going to go into this now and show you what it sounds like. Um, so, yeah, this is full blast, no coil split or nothing. So here we go. Call split sounds. And I'll show you some of the tone sweeps on the humbucker. So this has been, <clears throat> I need my morning coffee. So this has been a Warwick bass and my God, it's a really nice bass. Like, it's a really nice bass. I love the shape of this and the feel of this. 
I'm actually in the market for a base for recording purposes, and I think I might find one. Because I love getting stuff and modding it, so like, if this wasn't enough, I would totally put in more pickups. But that's just me. Anyway, I've been Ryan from Ryan's Guitar Stuff, and see you next time. Bye.